It just came out a minute ago. Oh my! You, so you came out of there, sir? It yes. looks like it. Look at that. It did. Me, it wasn't there earlier. Here. It was just there a minute it's ago. It's beautiful. Oh my, you're a beautiful you thing. Under its under its belly, Daddy. You can look that up. I think it's one of those really rare and unusual giant moths. Like there's only a, a few of them as far as I know. Look at it drying its wings. That's fantastic. So that it came from it's this. Belly. All right, let me come over here. Watch out. <gasps> look at that. Wow. Praise God. God, look at that. Can I touch the nest? No, no, no. I don't want to scare it off right now. Wow, look at it just pulsing and filling with life. And it came out of this. We've seen it once before. It came right out the top. I would have loved to have seen it come out. Wow, look at those. Look at its little antenna. It came out just a little bit ago because it wasn't there. It went earlier when I went in a little while ago. Wow, this is the neatest, neatest thing. It's just, it's hard to capture it in a movie. Sarah is so excited about it, and I'm so excited about it. Just fresh, fresh out of the cocoon, and you see all the little hairs. Look at those little hairs on there, and then look at this antenna. And the, the colors, and this is in an old, dirty... Uh, kind of like a garage. It's being very patient with me doing all this. Sarah really, really likes that belly. I told my girls, whatever is in there is going to be hatching sometimes. I, th I thought it was some kind of spiders or bugs. So I told them just to keep an eye on it every day. And sure enough, they did. This was only, it's only been here like an hour, hour and a half. Sarah caught it. It's huge! So once I moved away and went back to drying its wings, they just know when they come out of the cocoon, they have to slowly, oh, it stopped again. When I start talking, it, it stops drying its wings. How does it know to dry its wings?